Hi and welcome to another 2 minute tips. Have you ever wanted to move a file from one share to another on Unraid? Of course you have. Well, when we're connected by Wi-Fi from our laptop and we want to move a file from one share to another, it takes time. Why? Because the file must be moved over Wi-Fi to your laptop and then back over Wi-Fi to the other share on the server. And as you can see here for me, it says that moving an image file of 4 gigs is going to take around 7 minutes. So there's got to be a better way. Yes, we could use a file manager on Unraid such as Crusader, but it's easier to be able to use something in the operating system that we're working from. So let's set up a custom Unraid share. I call this a root share, and from which we can see all the files and folders on the array. And as you can see here, I've mapped a network drive to my root share. And now from the Z drive, I can access everything on the array. And now when I move the same file from one share to another, it's instant because it doesn't need to leave the server. So let's go across onto the server and let me show you just how easy it is to set this up. Ok, so the first thing to do is to set up a user if we want security on the share. Now we can make the share a public share but for a root share I really don't recommend it. I find it best to set up a username with the same username and password as what you use on your laptop or whatever computer you use to access the shares on the array. So I'm going to put in Ed and my password here. OK, so now the user's added. So now let's go across to settings and click on SMB and here you'll see there's the SMB extras where there's an extra configuration file and then just paste in what's in the description and the first bit here in the brackets that's the name of the share and I've called it root share but you can call it anything you like and then the next part here is the path to the share and as you can see I'm using the user folder which is where all of your shares are and then the next part we need to fill in is the valid users so there we put in the users we want to be able to access the share so for me it's just the one I just made a moment ago which is Ed and then the right list the same so then click apply and then done and that's it and now you'll see the root share show up when you browse the network so that's it and it's the end of another video. I hope you liked it and you found it useful. If you did then please help me out by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And if you like what I'm doing on this channel and you want to support me then any donation is really appreciated which you can do so from the links in the top of the page. Anyway guys whatever you're up to for the rest of the day I hope it's good and I'll catch you in another video.